Okay, this is an initial review of the Benchmade Bug Out Knife. Um, normally on this channel, I review things that I've used for a long time. Now, this is a little different. Um, I'm planning to have a review for this item after I've had it for several months. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and give you some of my first thoughts about this knife and uh, then come back later after I've used it for a while and tell you what I think at that point. Um, the Benchmade Bug Out Knife is a uh, folding knife made by Benchmade. It has a polymer grip, uh, some of the relevant specs on this knife. Uh, the knife has a blade that is 3.24 inches long and it has an overall weight of 1.85 ounces. Now, that overall weight for me was um, really kind of a selling point. Um, when I first put the knife in my hands, when I picked it up, uh, it's just unbelievably light. Uh, to give you some reference, if you're, if you're not familiar with um, how much knives weigh, I was carrying a uh, Kershaw um, folding knife before this one, and it weighs in at um, a little over three ounces. This knife is half the weight of the knife I had been carrying. Um, so right there, that's, that's just really nice. Um, it does have a polymer handle. It feels really similar to the uh, grip on many polymer pistols. If you've ever fired something like a Glock, uh, or a Springfield XD. Um, this, this does feel like it's a very similar uh, material to that. It feels very sturdy, doesn't have a lot of flex um, in that material at all. The blade is a stainless steel blade. It's a S30V steel. That's a pretty high quality steel. Uh, it's considered to be very durable and corrosion resistant and holds its edge well. Uh, as I understand it, that steel was actually developed um, by a company called Crucible, uh, specifically for using in uh, upper end knife blades. Uh, so the, the steel in this knife should be very, very good. Um, some of the drawbacks of a uh, durable hard steel like that is that it can be difficult for the end user to sharpen properly. Uh, Benchmade, though, does offer lifetime sharpening on their knives. Uh, if you either see them at a trade show, typically they'll sharpen it there. Or if you uh, ship it to them, they'll sharpen it, go over it, replace any fittings that need to be replaced, and send it back to you and cover the postage. So uh, that's... That's a nice, uh, nice little perk to to this knife. Um, the blade system, uh, it is not an assisted opening blade, which was something of a disappointment for me. Um, I, I my last knife was an assisted opener, and I, I appreciated that feature quite a lot. Um, at the same time, you can open this knife quite easily with one hand. Um, it has what they call their axis locking system. And so if you, uh, this locking system actually keeps the blade both closed and open. Um, so right now it's uh, locked closed. I can open it uh, manually and this knob will move as I do that. Uh, there's a spring trying to, to keep the blade under tension, keeping it closed. I can open it just like that. Or uh, with a little practice, just flick it. Um, open like so. And I'm trying to do that and keep it uh, in the camera frame at the same time. It's a little bit trickier. Um, closing it is the same sort of scenario where um, you can just uh, disengage the lock and then whoop, disengage the lock and then uh, flip it closed like so. So um, that locking feature is kind of nice. Uh, I would really have um, liked to see a knife that was this light and was also assisted opening, but this one is not. It does have a pretty good warranty backing it. Um, they are willing to you know, replace any parts of the, the knife that are defective. Uh, if you break part of the knife, you can they'll replace that um, as well. Now, one thing that their warranty does say that is that if you uh, are using the knife for something like um, prying or, or like a screwdriver um, and you somehow damage the blade, um, 
beyond repair, uh, that they will sell you uh, a new blade rather than just replacing it outright. Um, so don't don't pry things with uh, the knife, but you really shouldn't be you know, using a knife blade that way anyway. Uh, this particular knife does have uh, serrations along uh, the last part of the blade. Um, it's a drop tip uh, blade, so it's useful, very useful for slicing things. Um, it does, though, if you notice, the uh, tip of the blade is lower than the upper part of the blade. Um, that does help it to also have strength and rigidity when piercing as well. Uh, the last couple of uh, features it does have a pocket clip, and this pocket clip is quite small. Uh, it does make the knife ride very low in your pants. Um, that's billed as a selling point uh, for keeping the knife kind of out of view. Uh, it does do a reasonably good job of that. This is a very small, thin knife and uh, does just about disappear in my pocket. The pocket clip is reversible. Um, right now it's set up for me as a right-handed person to be able to carry it. Um, you can swap it over to the other side though with this set of holes and uh, carry it as a left-handed person uh, on the other side of your pants. Um, just a couple of last thoughts about the knife. Overall, um, so far it's been an incredible little knife. Uh, the blade on this thing is very sharp as it comes from the manufacturer. Uh, really one of the sharpest uh, edges I've seen on a knife um, before sharpening it myself. I've cut uh, several different sorts of things with it, and it's cut through everything uh, just remarkably well. Um, it's really, really hard. If, if I hadn't uh, used this, I, I would have had trouble um, even understanding, like how well it does just cut through things. Um, the, the phrase that comes to mind is like a hot knife through butter. Um, really everything that I have uh, tried to slice or cut with it has been completely effortless, very, very smooth. Um, it, if, uh, if all that you've ever cut with are, you know, uh, 20 or $30 knives from Walmart, um, which is what I had cut with uh, and used previously, and, and they work fine. They're, they're great values for sure. Um, but it's, it's really hard to um, describe with words uh, just how easily this knife does cut through things. It's remarkable. Um, so far, which uh, is not to say, for, say very much, I haven't had this knife for very long, but I've been happy with it so far. And uh, be looking forward to a, another review video on this knife in the future after I've used it for uh, a few months at least. Uh, so, as always, if you've liked this video, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. Be sure to check out my Everyday Carry playlist uh, that has more videos of things that I carry and use every day. And uh, I'll try to put more videos up in the future as well. As always, thanks for watching.